So I want to give you a disclaimer that all the audio is coming off the shotgun condenser microphone right now. And I did go to college for digital audio and production. And I'm Trevor from Trevor's Phone Reviews, back with a, another video. And in today's video, I'm basically explaining to you that you can use your cell phone as an external recorder to get professional quality audio if you're doing voiceovers or recording video. Most people do not understand how bad their audio is until they start using an external microphone. I didn't realize until I started using external microphones on my cameras and for my voiceovers because back in the day, what I would do is I would just use the built-in microphone on my iPod, and I thought, okay, that's great audio for a voiceover, and I would record the audio, email it to myself, then download it, and then put it into my video editing software as an MP3 file, and I'd be like, yeah, it's great audio, but when I go back and listen to it, I can definitely tell nowadays the audio is a night and day difference. You can tell there's less ambient noise, less background noise, and I'll pause the, uh, the audio right now and take out the microphone and then just use the audio from the Samsung Galaxy S7 you're probably going to hear a big huge noticeable difference in background noise so let's pause right now so we are back using the Samsung Galaxy S7 and just using the built-in microphones and I'll say the built-in microphones you might not notice a noticeable difference unless you're using high quality headphones don't use your laptop speakers and don't use your Apple earbuds because you're not going to hear a noticeable difference but at the end of the day the microphones on the Samsung device is okay for a cell phone if you're recording a vlog and you need to get some audio. It's going to get the job done, but it's not going to get the job done if you want a professional audio recorder, professional audio in like a um, studio where you're doing podcasting, voiceovers, or even a interview. The microphone is too sensitive and it's going to pick up way too much noise. So let's pause the audio right here and go back to the shotgun condenser microphone. And at the bottom of the screen, when you put in the microphone, it says recording an external mic. So it's letting you know that the external mic is going to be recorded. And I'll say this, everything that I'm using in this video should be in the description box below. So you can use my setup. The microphone might not be necessarily what you would use for this uh, application. But you can put this on like a little hot shoe mount or a little tripod and set it up so you can just... Uh, get the audio so you don't actually have to hold the microphone but can you tell a huge noticeable difference I think there's a huge noticeable difference so let me walk into my living room or office where it's more echoey because it's more wood flooring and I am walking into my office where you will definitely notice a noticeable difference in audio quality so we're going to use one more time the built-in microphone hit pause so now you guys should hear a lot of background noise, a lot of distortion, and a lot of uh, echoing because my room is not set up for um, audio. It's just a wide open area which was a garage turned into a office. So you're definitely hearing a lot of ambient noise and echoing. So hopefully that helped you guys out with getting your audio better because audio especially for video or voiceovers is the number one thing that i feel people miss out on people forget to record great audio they're like well my video is 1080p at 60 frames per second no one's going to complain about the audio audio makes a huge difference it's like watching your favorite movie or your new Star Wars movie or your favorite movie that's just coming out and they recorded it all on the cell phone and all the sound effects on the cell phone. You would noticeably be like, what's wrong? This movie sucks. Probably most people would say the movie sucks because image quality, people can... So as always, guys, remember to rate, even if you hate, comment, subscribe, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button. I'm Trevor from Trevor's Phone Reviews and I will see you guys in the next video. Like I was saying, everybody can watch like a 360p video or a 480p video and be perfectly fine. But if the audio for your latest and greatest movie was all shot on a cell phone, you would definitely wouldn't watch it because the audio would be bad. 
audio is the most important thing. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.